2019 began with three Chicago aldermen on the hot seat for different reasons. And with the election next week, the fate of all 50 lawmakers now up in the air. So it got us wondering, do we need so many people in the first place? Morning Insider Lauren Victory crunches the numbers. Chicago Alderman Ricardo Munoz arrested. Chicago's longest serving alderman, Ed Burke, now charged with attempted extortion. Another alderman under investigation. Three major headlines in just 34 days. We have team coverage of the breaking developments. History is not on the side of these troubled Chicago aldermen. More than 30 who once served in City Hall have also called federal prison home. Does Chicago need fewer aldermen? Uh, Chicago wouldn't be better served by less aldermen. It would be better served by better aldermen. Dick Simpson used to sit on city council. Now he studies it. The political science professor just published a report declaring Chicago the nation's most corrupt big city. It's very easy to pass the alderman a envelope with 500 or more dollars in it to get the permit you need. Ethics aside, how do we size up to other major markets? 50 aldermen divided by our population means each one serves about 54,000 residents. New York City's 51 represent 166,000 people apiece. A mere 15 districts in Los Angeles contain 266,000 Californians on average. It's a similar situation in Houston. Why not pare us down? They would not be able to have as close a touch with the community organizations. Uh, the individual constituents would see them less often, just like they very rarely see their congressmen. Uh, so it's a trade-off. What about cost? A look at city records shows Chicago spends more than 22 million on city council employees. 5.7 million of that goes to aldermen. That means the average take-home pay is about $115,000. They have staff, too. Lots of positions that add up to another 10 million annually. And don't forget the 100 aldermanic offices, one for each in City Hall, another in every ward. I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Another alderman, Willie Cochran, is currently fighting fraud and bribery charges. His trial is set for later this year.